Hi, I'm Artie Nemco. I'm going to be giving a talk next week to an audience of older people. And here's the essence of what I'm planning to say. Number one, should you think small? We're pressed to think big, even when we're older. You know, do not go gentle into that good night and such. The media trumpets people who are in their 70s, who started a nonprofit, who traveled around the world in 80 days and so on. Maybe you do want to do something big, but many people, because of physical or mental fatigue, welcome a dispensation to think small. Well, here are some small things I do. I give little gifts. For example, I give away my books. I put them in a cafe to borrow or to keep as they will. I give free piano concerts at my home for as few as one person. I'm planning to use my phone to take pictures of older people. I'm going to ask them not to pose, but to wear their default natural expression as they walk the earth. I'll ask them what they see in their portrait. Then I'll post their photo and statement on my blog. What small things might you do that perhaps capitalize on your strengths? Few possibilities? Mentor, volunteer, or just enjoy lingering over a newspaper or even a flower. Number two, make the most of each grain of the fast dropping sand in our hourglass. For example, some people that's the pursuit of pleasure. For others, it's the pursuit of contribution, maybe using your best skill to make a difference. For some people, most people actually, it's some sort of balance. Number three, try to look at your glasses half full. As we move toward the end of life's conveyor belt, it's easy to focus on the negative. It's probably worth the effort to find the good in yourself, in others, in the world. I try to appreciate everything, not always successfully, but appreciating said flower, or a blue sky, or being able to listen to my favorite author, Louise Penny, and podcasts like Lex Friedman's and the Commentary Podcast in my so reliable, economical Prius. Number four, learn. You learn as well as teach by mentoring someone. Think of someone who's especially likely to benefit and in turn to contribute. Use ChatGPT. It's a great way to learn what you want on a just-in-time basis and for free. Just query whatever you're curious about. For example, I recently asked ChatGPT, are treaties worth it? After all, members of that treaty tend to violate it when it's inexpedient. ChatGPT's answer gave me pause. It said that treaties impose admittedly semi-permeable guardrails, but that those are better than nothing. Seek ideas from across the spectrum. All wisdom doesn't reside on the left. Yeah, consider the ideas from the hegemonic left, like the New York Times and CNN, but also from conservative sources, which, alas, because of cancel culture, are harder to find, except for the Wall Street Journal. But Google search, for example, Victor Davis Hanson and Heather MacDonald, and you will find worthy right-of-center perspectives. Five, give wisely. Many older people are in a position to give more charity than when they were younger. When considering making a significant donation, consider the battlefield medics rule. Give your limited resources not necessarily to the sickest, but to those with the greatest potential to benefit. One of my favorite charity ideas is to fund mentorships for intellectually gifted kids from blue collar backgrounds. And finally, number six, accept your basic self. The media and self-help gurus imply that we're infinitely malleable. For example, dream it and you can do it. More often, we find contentment from accepting our basic self, our personality, our abilities, our limitations, our level of drive, and yes, our aging. I'm going to go over those again very quickly. So the six tips for the 60 plus, probably for many other people. Number one, should you think small? Two, Make the most of each grain of the fast dropping sand in our hourglasses. Three, try to look at your glasses half full. Four, learn. Five, give wisely. And six, accept your basic self. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.